In this video, we are going to be changing out the TRD off-road grill and we are going to be installing the TRD Pro Grill. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Talk of Twans, where we create weekly videos with our Tacomas and Forerunner. So if you guys are into that stuff, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. And in this video, we're gonna be changing out the grill on the 2018 Tacoma TRD Off-Road. This one here belongs to my partner, Twan. So he's the other guy that helps me out with the YouTube videos. So if you guys have a TRD Off-Road and you guys are looking to build it up, uh, make sure you guys follow our videos because we are going to be building his up and we are going to start off with the grill. Since this one is a 2018, it will have TSS. What TSS is, if you don't know, is Toyota Safety Sense and it is a sensor that sits behind the Toyota emblem. It's that guy right there with a wire harness coming at it right here. So we will need to take this off, move it to the pro grill, and then put the grill back on and plug it in. And that way you continue to have that system. So first off, we will need to take a couple bolts off. It's gonna be this one here. And then this one right here. There's one, two, and then there's gonna be several clips. One right here next to the headlight. The other one right there. And then there are gonna be a couple down here. One right there, right here, right here, and right over there. So there's gonna be four total on the bottom. First, I'm gonna remove the two bolts. Don't lose those. And then grab a flathead to remove the clips. So this one here is right next to the passenger side headlight. So there's gonna be one right here. It's hard to see in camera, but when you're doing it, you can, you'll can you know exactly where it's at. Pop that clip the same way you did to the other clip. Once you have those all popped, you can go ahead and remove it with your hand, just like that. There's gonna be this little tab right here that's holding this wire on. Just pinch that and then push it down or if you need a set of pliers, you can do that as well. Once you've pushed that brown clip down, go ahead and unplug the wire that's connected to it. In order to pull the grill out, you see these little clear things where the, uh, the screws that we took out were. We're just gonna pull it over that. Same for this one. Now you can pull off the grill. Just like that. Comes off super easy. Now we're gonna take this inside and we're gonna swap out the TSS. So this here is the garnish that we got from uh, Toyota. This is the part number here. And we already opened it and we took it out. And on the back it has the part number right there as well. It says Toyota. All right, so let me show you what we had to do here. So this here is the beginning of the harness, which sits right there in that hole. So if you guys have one of these pry tools, they will come in very handy because you just slide it in and just pop it out. So if you got one of those, it's gonna save you a lot of time. So we pop that one off there, this one right here, and then uh, we unscrewed the, this bolt or this screw here, 
this one here and this one right over here. So with those three, we were able to remove the actual sensor itself. And then we use that same tool to remove this clip from there and there. So now we have the whole harness out, the sensors out. Now that we got the sensor out of there, we're gonna remove this, uh, the grill part, the center part of it. So there are just little screws all around the grill. So just find them and remove them just like that. And then these little plastic tabs here, once you have those screws off, just squeeze that tab and push it down. It should be really easy to come off. So we got all the little screws from around the grill off. So now we're gonna push these tabs down and then pull that center piece out. So there's actually two parts to the uh, to this grill. Of course, the outside part. Um, so all the tabs that are in these little grooves are gonna be for the uh, for the outer part, and then all the other tabs that are gonna be on this pedal stool is gonna be the center part. So just push them down and pull them out. So once you have pushed all those tabs out, you will get the grill. Now let's go ahead and get the Pro Grill in. Here's our Pro Grill. You can get this on runningfortacos.com. And we have been searching for a long time for a satin finish like this one for a while now. And we went through a lot. So as you can see here, the Toyota is all one piece, just like the OEM one. There's no slots or cuts or anything. So this is all one piece all the way across. So there's no screws in the back or anything like that. It comes mounted this way. The details are amazing because like even, even these lines on the very top, like the pros, it is exactly like the OEM one. So this one is by far the best replica I have ever seen. And that's why we are selling them now on our website. So if you guys want to get the best grill that's out there um, as closest to OEM as possible without paying OEM price, this is going to be it. So I think a new one is like four, maybe $500 for an OEM TRD Pro Grill. And um, you can get ours for 150. So that's a fraction of the cost. And it's just amazing. Let me show you the back here. And of course this is um, going to work with the TSS. This is the back here. As you can see, it's all one piece. So this is where the TSS is gonna go. So there's the cover. Even the cover itself is exactly like the OEM. That's amazing. So when you receive these, all you gotta do is push these down and it'll just, you'll hear a pop. That way um, it pops it out of place. And then the only two other things that are holding it in are these two tabs down here. So we'll just push those through. Now we should be able to pull that out. So now let's pull this part out. So as you can see there, they're like um, melted to the position. So just push them out. And then the two tabs on the bottom are the only other two things that are holding it on there. So now we got this empty slot for our sensor. Now let's grab our sensor. So this part here is gonna sit in the front. So this little sticker here is gonna sit in the back and there are little pins that are where the hole are going to sit in, just like that and right there. Just like how the OEM one is and of course that's where the, where the screw is gonna go. So let's go ahead and put 
that screw on. So we got that screw on. This is on pretty snug now. We're gonna now put the front part in. Here's the OEM Toyota garnish. Um, we are looking for one right now that we will carry on our website. Um, so we will have one soon, just not yet, because these are expensive. I think this was uh, 78 bucks, 77 bucks, something like that. Um, so we're gonna try to source one um, that's gonna work and that's good enough and the fitment's good. Um, but for right now, we're gonna use the OEM one. So it will just slide right in there, just like that. And then push it in, it'll clip in as you heard there. There you go. Perfect fit. If you remember right, the TRD off-road had these two other bolts um, that went here and here, but on this, this uh, on the Pro, they don't have it. So if you would like the added security, you can get like a, a bolt and nut setup where you can put the bolt there and then screw the nut on, on the bottom before you put the front garnish through. But the single nut there is strong enough. I can pick up the grill with it. So I'm not too worried. And um, the garnish is clipped on tight. So I think we're ready to plug it in. So I put this clip in that hole right there. Um, we're not gonna need this one. So I'm just gonna cut that one off. And then if you'd like to use this one, you can slide this one over and use that one. But being that this part is solid and we're gonna be clipping the end of this harness in right here, I'm just gonna leave it like that. But if you like, you can run it there. So let's grab our pro grill. We'll just slide it on just like that. Super easy, we'll just push it in. And the, those tabs, you'll hear it engage. And then just look around the grill. If you see if, if there's any gap, just uh, push in that area and then it'll go in. All right, so here's what it looks like with the installed now. Looks way better. All right, so let's get it on the truck now. Let's put the grill back in. Just try to line it up. and then just push it in. Just like that. You will want to make sure that these uh, white things are into the grooves, which they are. And let's make sure that the TSS is connected there. And then we're gonna grab this end, feed it back into this hole right here and then we'll plug this back in there we go so that's what it looks like much better and then of course we're going to put the two screws back all the clips back but obviously that's super easy to do and i don't need to show you guys that so uh yeah what do you guys think and then course we got to put in our grill lights and uh, for this location here we did have to sand the sides down just a tiny tiny bit As you see here it's pretty snug so we did have to sand it down just a little bit maybe like a, uh, a millimeter or two but it's super easy all you need is a filer like this and maybe like 30 seconds or a minute and you'll have it down just enough to fit here. And if you like the top row, of course, we have a video of that to show you guys that. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. So if you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this. And if you guys are looking for a TRD Pro Grill, we have the best one um, in our opinion, just because we've been looking for a really good one for a long time. We've bought a lot of them, and this one here is closest to 
the OEM TRD Pro as you can get. So if you are looking for one, this is it. So uh, you can get it at runningfortacos.com.